Hey, Tennessee, I wanted to make a quick video and show you how easy, even though I'm an independent candidate, how easy we can take this election. And I also want to respond to the, to the people that are saying, you know, stop, stop fighting. You're going to split the vote. Uh, so you want me to stop standing against corruption, stop defending the Constitution just because a liberal you know, might get put in office because my results are so successful. You know, what that says is, is that even though I'm an independent candidate, that I'm, I'm, I'm a strong challenge uh, to the incumbent Republican candidate in there. That's what it is. It's, it's an admission that I would cause because when you look at these results, the, the, the independent results out there are, are abysmal and should have no impact. So obviously when people are saying that, that I'm gonna split the vote, it's because my work transcends party politics and they're afraid of me. And they're afraid of me restoring the Republic that was intended by our founders. So I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you how easy we can take this election. Let me jump over and share my screen here, just a moment. Okay, so this is the Secretary of State website, and you can go, they have elections commissions on here. You go to election, election information, and then you can click on down here, election results. And I'm gonna click on 2018. And let's look at the, at the last election on here. So click on, we can click on results by office. And I think the first one that's gonna show up is the race for governor. And, and so we can see November 2018, uh, Bill Lee won with, with roughly 60, 61% of the vote uh, and the Democrat, you know, a little less than, than 40. And then there were all these, these independent candidates with immaterial, I mean, these are immaterial results for these independent candidates. And so for somebody to say that I'm, I'm gonna split the vote, they recognize that my work is not immaterial in the least. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at these numbers now. So Bill Lee had, had 1.3 million. Uh, the, the Democrat had, had 865, total 2.2 million uh, votes. Uh, and then, you know, these little immaterial votes for, for the independent candidates that were out there. Now, let's say, uh, you know, most of the, any, any candidate, any person, any citizen out there that understands the work that I'm doing, they stand with me. They're going to vote for me because I'm the only person standing against corruption and, and, and defending the constitution of this state. So let's say I've pulled 50%. And I don't know if you can see the formula bar uh, up here in the top, but taking 50% of the vote from, from Bill Lee, that would reduce him down to 668. And for the for the Democrat, because my work, you know, it transcends party politics and, and restoring the right of remonstrance stops a lot of the injustices uh, that economically disadvantaged, which, which very often follow Democrats, uh, suffer. So I, I'd say pull 25% of the Democrats. If I pull 50% of, of the votes for, for Lee from the last election and 25% of the votes, it's an easy win. And if every citizen learns about my work, restoring the right of remonstrance, restoring the right to instruct our representatives uh, and, and taking stand against rampant corruption in government, absolutely every citizen, I don't care what party, uh, what, what kind of demographic uh, profile that you come from, everybody, everybody stands with me. And so I think we could easily take this with 40% with of the vote. Now let's look at, at my last Senate race that, that, you know, when you look at these independents, you know, they're pulling in, you know, next to nothing in the votes in here. Let's look what I did as an independent in my, my race for state Senate. I was a nobody. Nobody knew who I was uh, before I entered that race. Never been in politics. Uh, actually don't care to be, uh, but I'm running out of a sense of duty, but I've never had any, any public persona at all, not a public figure at all. And just based on, on the foundation of my work and evidencing my work solely on Facebook, social media advertising, that was my campaign platform. I had no help. I was a one person campaign. It is amazing that, that the people, you know, stood with me, spread news of my work. And I picked up 20, 28% of the vote overall in, in my Senate district in Davidson County at, at eight o'clock in reporting, 
I actually had 51% of the vote, not 47, I had 51%. I won in Davidson County at eight o'clock. Hour later, it changed to 47%. Who knows, who cares? Uh, and, and Sumner, 25%, Charlestown County picked up 20% 20, 20 of the vote. That is incredible performance as an independent candidate, one person campaign, uh, just running on, on the evidence of my work, standing up in our legislative houses and our courts, defending the rights of the people and defending the Tennessee constitution. So I think when every citizen learns about the work that I'm doing, they're gonna stand with me. Uh, it, it, it's obvious that they would. Any freedom loving American will stand with me when they understand my work to restore rights and reform government back to its proper form. So thanks for taking time with me. Uh, if you can, help me spread the word to more and, and, and make a $5 monthly campaign uh, count contribution. Make that recurring. Everybody should be able to afford $5 a month, uh, whatever you can afford. 100% of the campaign contributions I use, I use on social media advertising. It's very cost effective. You know, as you can see, I picked up, you know, almost 30% of the vote. And what we're needing in this next election is 40% of the vote. I think it's, it's very doable. So thank you for taking this time with me. Uh, God bless, God speak to us all, and God we trust.